Hey everyone, this is video number 18 of the series, the Studio 5000 series. Today we are going to be working with math instructions. And if you've been following along with all of the videos, uh, we've already uh, covered the control logic setup, creating tags. So I've already done that to save a little bit of time so you don't have to sit here and watch uh, information we've already covered. So as you can see right down here, I already set up a 1756 L71 processor. And I've already created a bunch of tags. Uh, in this uh, tag section, I created a bool, which is an add button, a dent, which is a addition total, a bool that is called my division button, a dent that is called division total. I also have uh, a dent called math source. This is where I'm going to be getting my information. I have a multiplication button and I have a multiplication total. I have a start button as well that we're going to be using, a subtraction button and a subtraction total. Uh, what I'm using the buttons for is so that when we set this up, we can see each individual math instruction do what it's supposed to do. Uh, and we can actually watch it being controlled. So I'm going to go to the program now. And the first thing that I am going to do is I am going to add an examine on. And I am going to uh, put in a move. Not a mask move. I want a regular move. <coughs> so in this, I am going to uh, add my start button. And in my move, I am going to move the value of 100 into my math source. There we go. So when this operates, when the start comes on, it's going to move the value 100 into math source. And I'm going to add a few more lines here. I'm going to add my addition button. And you can actually go up here and uh, these are under math, your math functions. There are more of them, but I'm going to grab my addition instruction. And in my addition instruction, I am going to add a value to my math source and put that somewhere, which is going to be in the dent that I called addition total. All right. Another thing that you can do, if you're not sure exactly where uh, the instruction you are looking for is up here, but you do know exactly what you are looking for, you can just double click right here on the number and start typing. You'll see that it pulled it up right up here. This is going to be a subtraction. And then all you have to do is press enter and you'll see that it put it in right there. All right, so I am going to add another examine on. This is going to be my subtraction button. And over here I am going to put in my operands or my sources. And I'm going to put in a value in source A my math source, and this is going to be going to my subtraction total. All right, we'll move on down. I'm going to add another examine on, and this is going to be my multiplication button. And go back up to the tabs, grab my multiplication instruction. I'm going to multiply my math source times a value. 
and put that into my multiplication total. And the last one is going to be my division. This is going to be my division button. And I'm going to grab my division instruction. Set it down here. I am going to divide my math source by a value and put that into my division total. All right, so we have all of our information in right here. All I need to do now is to download it. So I'm going to select my processor. I am going to start downloading. And I am doing this uh, through uh, wireless network. Uh, so sometimes when I do it through wireless, things are a little bit slower. Today it's not so bad. It's moving along pretty fast, actually. There we go. All right. So we are uh, downloaded. We are in run mode. And you can see right over here. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you. All right. And the move function has not operated yet, obviously, because the start has not come on. So I am going to toggle. And you'll see that it moved the value of 100 into my math source. So now math source has a value in every one of the instructions down below it because it has the value of 100 in the dent associated with math source. Now, when I hit my addition button, it is going to add 50 to math source or source A to source B and put it into the addition total. So let me toggle this and there it is. It added 50 to the 100 and put it uh, the value into addition total, which the new value in addition total is 150. Now the subtraction. So the subtraction uh, is a little bit different. You have to read up here in the help section. We'll explain how this is going to work. But basically it works like any subtraction problem. You're going to subtract source B from source A. It's not the other way around. So you have to be very careful uh, which information you're putting where, depending on what you're trying to do with it. So I am going to toggle my subtraction button. And you'll see that it subtracted math source from the value 50 and moved it into subtraction total. So it subtracted 100 from the 50. And I am now showing a negative 50 in subtraction total. All right, we'll move on to the multiplication and the division. The multiplication, this is going to multiply source A multiplied by source B and then move the value into multiplication total. So when I toggle right over here, math source or source A had the value of 100 multiplied by source B, which was 4. And it put the total into multipl uh, multiplication total. Uh, so we have the value of 400 in it. 4 times 100 is 400. And the last one is the division. Uh, it's going to take the math source, the value 100, divided by source B, or the value 2, and put it into division total. And there it is. 100 divided by 2, or source A, divided by source B, and moved into the destination of division total, now has the value of 50 in it. All right. So that is the basic uh, commands, uh, instruction commands, uh, if you 
have any questions on these or you would like to see, there are a bunch of other ones right up here. Um, I don't really plan on doing any videos on these, but if you have any questions about those and you would like us to make a video, just leave a comment and we will look into making a couple of those videos and we can do that so you can actually uh, see them happening. Uh, there are some more math functions right down here. Here's advanced math, math conversions. So again, if it's something that you would like to see, leave us a comment and we will try to make more videos uh, for you that show you exactly how one of those are or some of those are working. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. And you 